<laughs> now who's the Scrabble King, Toby? <laughs> yeah, so, um, you're interested in buying the blue couch and green chair? Uh, the couch is uh, one human long. Hello? Oh, gotta go. Hello, are you here? Uh, hey, Toby. What's up? <sighs> Nothing. I just, I had the weirdest dream. About what? Well, first you were juggling, and then we played Scrabble and you won really big, and then... You think what? I think you were trying to sell the chair and the couch? Yeah, Toby, that sounds like a wild dream, but uh, dreams are just dreams, right? I guess so. It just felt so real. Excuse me. Hello? I'm here about the couch and the chair. Oh, um, you have the wrong house. Bye. Who is that, Otto? Nobody. Let's have lunch. It's a Saturday show. 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 Dreams. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Saturday Show, AADL TV's one and only Saturday morning kids variety show. My name is Toby, and I'm Otto. And today, we're talking all about dreams. Dreams? Yep, Otto, dreams. What are dreams? Well, bud, I thought you'd never ask. In fact, it's time for a fact desk. Toby, I didn't prepare a fact desk. That's okay, dude. I did. Welcome to the fact desk. I'm Toby Person. Dreams are a succession of images, ideas, emotions, and sensations that usually occur involuntarily in the mind during certain stages of sleep. If you're confused by that definition, don't worry. Because while humans have been alive and dreaming for thousands of years, scientists still don't know how or why dreams occur. Could it be telling the future? Maybe. A way for the brain to sort out thoughts? Who knows? All we know is here at TSS that dreams happen, and we're more than happy to explore them. I'm Toby Person, and those are the facts. Wow, Toby, that was really good. Thanks. So what's next? I was thinking... Word of the day, right? Right. Kashi and Christopher? <laughs> hey, are you guys there? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Wake up! Uh, oh, 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 it's Toby. Uh, thanks, Toby. Oh, oh, hi, Toby. Oh, hi, Christopher. <laughs> hi, we, we were taking a nap or something. Yeah, I was having a great dream. Oh, me too. What were you dreaming about, Kashi? I was dreaming that I had a pet dinosaur and I was riding on it. Oh, wow. 
wow, you know, I had a dream that I was riding my bike through a beautiful field of marigolds. Wow. It was lovely. Sometimes I have dreams that I'm flying. Oh, that's great. I love those dreams. Yeah. Kashi, do you know any great quotes about dreams? Oh, I do. There's one that says, to sleep, to sleep, perchance to dream. My dad used to say that to me. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's great. Hey, you know, since we are talking all about dreams in this episode, shall we see if Lexi's got something for us? Oh, yeah, let's do that. Okay, you oh. ready, Lexi? Hey, wake up. Wake up. <laughs> Well, let's see what it says. Can you read this, Kashi? It says circadian clock. Oh, I know what that is. Right, it does say circadian clock. It's like inside your body, what helps you uh, know when to go to sleep and when to eat and when to dream. Oh, so it regulates everything. It does, but it's not like a real clock, like inside your body. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, is that a kind of clock that you can buy at the store? No. <laughs> okay. Well, listen, are you ready for the summer game code? Oh, yes. Okay, it's a good one. It's 11 letters. Wow, that's how many you have in your name. <laughs> That's right. And it's someone's last name. And they're a very, very famous playwright from England. Mm. And they wrote a play called Midsummer Night's Dream. Oh. And if you think you know the answer, you can go to play.aadl.org. Big points! Big points! <laughs> That's right! Four big points! <laughs> oh, wait! What? Did you hear it now? <laughs> I think I did! Whoa! Look who's here, Kashi! Hi! Oh, it's Tyra! It's Tyra! Oh, hi! Oh, wow, I can't believe it! Hey, everybody! I heard you were talking about dreams and I wanted to tell you about this dream I had. Christopher, you were the Tin Woodsman and Kashi, you were the Lion and Lexi, you were the Scarecrow and I had these beautiful ruby slippers and we went on an adventure. And guess what? We need to go on an adventure right now. It's beautiful outside. Come on! Okay, Toby, so there's all kinds of dreams, right? Yep, there's dreams that you have while you're sleeping. Okay. And there's dreams that you have while you're awake. Oh, like daydreams? Yep, and then there's dreams that are like goals that you have in your life. Like, it's my dream to win the Daytona 500? <laughs> yeah, those kinds. Oh boy. Do you think I could win the Daytona 500, Toby? I think you can do anything you put your mind to, Otto. Thanks, pal. Hey, Elizabeth! What were you doing? Oh, I was out on a bike ride. Bike riding is one of my favorite things to do in the springtime. Oh, did you know I have a dream of taking a long bike trip to somewhere really cool like, like California? Wow, that would be a long bike ride. I didn't know that that was your dream, Bernice. It to pedal down country roads, ride by wildflower fields, and zoom through little towns. Do you know how to ride a bicycle? Oh, I guess not. Well, Bernice, if this is your dream, it's going to take a lot of work and practice to be able to achieve it. But 
I'm sure you can do it. Our first step will be to get you a bicycle and a helmet. So let's go. I'm ready! Okay, Bernice, riding a bike is all about balance. You have to balance with your body, hold on to the handlebars with your wings, and then use your feet to pedal or push. Ready? Okay, here we go. Oh, let's try again. Good thing you're wearing your helmet. Ready? Okay, Bernice, now try to balance. Elizabeth, this is frustrating. How will I ever achieve my dream if riding a bicycle is so hard? Oh, you can do it, Bernice. Sometimes achieving our dreams is hard and frustrating. We have to put in a lot of time and work. But if going on a, lo a long bike ride to California really is your dream, I know that you can do it. You know what, Bernice? Let's take a short break and have a snack. We all sometimes need a little break from working to achieve our dreams. taking a nap. Look, his little nose is twitching while he's sleeping. I wonder what he could be dreaming about. All right, last one, a sniffing dog. Curious puppy, like Curious George. Hooray, you got them all. Great job today, George. You deserve a yummy treat. Oh, you, you deserve one too. You are a great teacher. Yay! Okay, well, maybe just one. Oh, here they are. Oh, 
dreaming? I like that. You know, I, I daydream all the time. It's a good escape for when I'm feeling down or wishing I was doing something else. Like today. It's rainy, so I was daydreaming I was on a beach. Oh, a visit to a beach sounds great about now. Hey, hey Katie, do you think maybe we should daydream about the same thing at the same time and see what happens? Oh, of course I do. Okay, on the count of three, let's both envision ourselves on the beach. One, two, three. Wow, that was the best day ever at the park. What fun. Oh, yeah. I had such a good time. Especially on the slides and the swings. I wish I could go that fast all the time. Well, good night. Okay, I think this will just about do it. My crowning achievement of a machine, the Reckless Roadster 10,000. Hey, hey, Syl Sylvester, check it out. Wow, Charles, it's perfect. You'll sell millions. Oh, I know I will, but this first one is for you. Ready to zoom into your future? Hop on in. Whee! This is the best invention ever! I just had the best dream ever! I just ever. had the best dream ever! So does that give you a better idea about dreams, Otto? It sure does. But I have a question. Go for it. Can there be bad dreams? Oh, absolutely. People and turtles can have good dreams and bad dreams. Well, I've had a couple of bad dreams lately. Oh yeah? Yeah, I mean, they're not really bad, but sometimes I wake up sad or scared because of my dreams. That's totally okay, Otto. Bad dreams happen to everybody. Well, how do I get rid of them? Well, sometimes it helps to talk about your bad dreams with someone. Do you want to tell me about your bad dream? It might be a little embarrassing, but if it helps, I'll tell you. No worries here, Otto. I'm your pal. I'll listen. So one of my bad dreams is I'm walking around at night and I feel hungry. So I go to the fridge and open it up to get a midnight snack, you know? And when I open the fridge, there's a giant strawberry in there and he starts chasing me and I think he's trying to eat me. Oh, Otto, I can see how that would make you sad or scared. Kind of looked like a tomato to me though, but I'm glad you shared it with me. I'm glad you listened, Toby. In fact, just telling you about it makes it kind of funny. Like, how would a giant strawberry eat a turtle? Do they even have teeth? <laughs> I don't know, Otto, that's a good question. Do you wanna see what the rest of the crew is dreaming up? Absolutely. <sighs> hmm, I'm in Lauren's house. I must have been so tired after our bike ride that I dozed off. Oh well, mm. up and at him. Hmm, mm. I feel sort of funny. Uh. 
What on earth is going on? Why can't I scurry up this tree with ease? I think you should come down here a minute, Hazel. Who said that? I've lost my beautiful fur and my superior gymnastic abilities for this human body. No offense. None taken. You know, I like this bushy tail and all, but I can't hold a calligraphy pen or reach the pedals on my bike. And I really want to go for a ride. Hmm. You know what, Lauren? Let's make the best of this squeaky Saturday situation. I've always wanted to work the pedals on your bicycle. Shall we try it? Absolutely, Hazel. You'll get the hang of it in no time. Let's roll. That's it, Hazel. Pedal, pedal. Pedal, Hazel, pedal. That's it. Oh, this is fun. Woo! All right. Woo! That was so fun. But I think it really is time for us to get back into our regular bodies. I agree, Lauren. You know, I think this might be a dream. And when I want to wake up from a dream, I just go back to the place where the dream started, get under the covers, and repeat, it's just a dream, it's just a dream, it's just a dream, it's just a dream. Hmm, it's worth a shot. Wish me luck. Good luck. Okay, here's hoping. It's just a dream. 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 It's just a oh oh what what oh my fur! Hooray! I'm back! And there's Lauren. Hi Hazel. Are you ready to go on our bike ride? I sure am. All right. You know, Lauren. What's that, Hazel? I'm glad you're you. Oh. And I'm glad I'm me. Likewise, Hazel. Thanks for being you. Let's go, Gertrude. Yeah. Let's go. Woo yeah. Woohoo. Well, that's our show for today, folks. Thank you for joining us on our journey of dreams. If you'd like to drop us a line, you can send an email to tss at aadl.org. And for some great resources, you can go to aadl.org slash the Saturday show. Until next time, keep on dreaming. Bye.